All right, here we are with the 1996 USA Strat, and it is completed. Now, this is not a full job. All right, you see the original? Got a little touch up there. I nicked it. See? Oh, it shows up so much. I just dabbed a little stain on there let it dry anyway it'll be protected i must have chipped it trying to get that sucker off there but you see what happens when i pull the stain it really shows up all the pools it gave me kind of a roasted maple effect which i'm liking now it's not showing too glossy at this angle but if i get the right angle you can see we got a pretty high gloss, and the pooling of the stain was the key. It looks less uniform on camera than it does by eye, and the pooling, yeah, kind of gave it that roasted maple, kind of an imperfect effect, uh, which is pretty cool, but at the same time, might be better without it on camera, and it me second guess it. But I could probably do a fourth coat. And it'll probably end up being maybe a perfect match. Right? Because you could see where I pulled it up. How it matches the frets that I didn't refinish. That were not delaminated. So I just did a half-ass patch-up job. Now in the fray, the frets took a beating. So they're looking kind of small. They could probably used to be crowned. They need a crowning tool. And if I go scraping on them without the crowning tool, without protecting them, I'm going to mess up my fretboard, which I just finished. It feels really nice. Now, the pooling, it did, it did dry a little tacky. It was super shiny looking, but not smooth to the touch. Now, I hit some of them, like over here, with a 5,000 grit. And then this first one, I hit with the 5,000 grit uh, after the stain. And it worked out okay, but it didn't look nearly as shiny. It took a lot of the shine out. Uh, I think the best method is to maybe let it pool if I want it shiny or just maybe not let it pool up, but put it on as thick as I can without letting it pool. Uh, the pooling, I think, is a great way to get that roasted effect. Um, but yeah, if you want a more uniform tie job, Probably I should have just, you know, went with continuous layers. And like I say, if I don't like it, I could probably, I don't know if I would wet sand over it. I didn't even touch the poly. No polyurethane on this. The water-based poly never came out. Because when I pulled it and put it on really thick, it dried to a high gloss. So, I really pulled it down here. And you can see that. Uh, it's like two shades, three shades darker. And it's kind of cool. Like I said, we're getting that roasted maple effect. You can see the inlays look fine. They look good. So I'm not trying to really redo the whole neck. We'll see when I restring it now. How it plays. Might have to redo the frets. And in which case, we'll redo it all. And we'll do it right. So this is a quick patch up. It is possible to do a patch up. I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. You can see I grinded down some of the frets a little too much. Like right there, 12, 13, 14, 15 fret. See how it's rounded at the end? No good. Uh, I'm going to say the router, but it was really my Dremel. Kind of dug in, and then I tried to file it out, make it a little more even. Probably made things worse. But at least it is more even than all on one side. We'll see if it affects the playing, but for right now, we got extreme shininess. We got kind of a ro roasted maple effect. It is a little bit of a striped, ununiform effect, but again, kind of lends to the relic rusted maple. This sucker's 28 years old, so I might as well look it. Well, I'm not trying to go total relic. <laughs> uh, this value. You know, this guitar is the kind of guitar that would go up in value. American made, 50th anniversary. But when you make modifications, alterations, people don't like it. 
So messing with the neck, probably devalued it, but the way I'm looking at it is I preserved it. It's my player guitar. I had thrown this hot rail, double rail in the back years ago. And uh, Seymour Duncan, baby. I'm going to clean it up. It's not looking so good. It's looked, it's seen better days. It's got this cloth wrapping. I don't know what it would look like if I took it off. Probably just copper. <laughs> there it is. We can see it. Can we see it? Yeah, it's not finished. So, I don't know what we're going to do. I think we're going to glue it. <laughs> and we're going to paint it. So it'll look white. And it won't be falling apart here. Yeah. All right. So more work to be done. <laughs> We're almost done. I think better would have been to take the neck off. We're going to do some detailing now on this bridge and the saddles. It looks like it really needs it. Dirty guitars don't function as well as clean guitars. But yeah, the masking tape and stuff kind of worked to keep some of the dust out of me knobs and junk you know so let me know what you think if you like the way it came out yeah i don't love the roasted thing on the uh camera but to the eyeball not so bad Maybe, maybe if you stare at it, but uh, for now, that's the way it's going to be. I'm tired of messing with it. It was a lot, a lot of work, and so after letting it dry overnight and pulled up and shiny, I think, you know, we buffed it a little. Once I started getting into these kind of things, uh, like a steel wool or a scotch bright, it was leaving a lot of marks, and I tried the 5,000, wasn't too bad. But not necessary. I buffed it with a paper towel, right? What grit is a paper towel? <laughs> Maybe 7,000. So pretty good. And I don't know how smooth it's going to have to be anyway. I'm sure the strings are going to, you know, be grinding in there. At least on the frets where I'm bending. And... We'll see if there's going to be a follow-up. We'll see if we'll do, if we got to redo more, if we decide to come back and make it all even. But yeah, honestly, these old frets, not bad. Why mess with them? A little chip in the corner there, so what? Right, that's what I was trying to do originally, just kind of sand out some of the chips and Maybe protect the wood, keep it from getting worse, which is kind of possible. Uh, but once you start getting into sanding, you open that can of worms, right? Like, look, I dirtied it over here. I don't know. Again, more part of the relic, but uh, almost could have just left it. I didn't like all the lacquer chipping away and making dust and... And yeah, it was looking kind of funky with the chips. It wasn't looking good. I think it looks a lot better now. So we're going to detail this bitch, get some strings on it, get it going. Hopefully it's going to rock out. If not, we'll see you on the refret.